IMPD just announced it's partnering with the FBI for a task force focused solely on carjackings. Officials report more cases over the last year all across the city and many involving people under the age of 18. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli met with IMPD and breaks down the goals of this new task force within the department's robbery branch. IMPD says deterring is the key word they're hoping to focus on with this new task force. And it's not the first time the department has teamed up to address the problem. Back in March, the two agencies arrested three juveniles allegedly involved in a series of armed carjackings and robberies right here in this neighborhood on the west side. In the first six months of 2021, IMPD says reported carjackings have gone up by more than 50 percent. Robbery branch Captain Doolin Nelson says they've had some success in reducing the number of those crimes this year. We've brought them down from what was extremely high to what's still high. And through a task force made up of IMPD robbery detectives, FBI violent crimes task force officers, and FBI special agents comes the potential of much harsher penalties for those convicted of these crimes. Part of the advantage of making this task force is to present some of these cases to the U.S. attorney. Suspects could then face federal charges. That could mean a sentence of up to 15 years in federal prison if no serious injury occurs. Or even life behind bars if someone dies as a result of the crime. And one of the most revealing statistics about the recent increase in cases, those who have been arrested. We find it disturbing that um, I believe in the area of 52 percent of uh, these carjackings have been committed by um, juveniles. They could be destroying their lives before their lives even start. In June, a 13 and 14 year old suspect were arrested for a carjacking and chase that ended in a crash outside the governor's mansion. IMPD detectives and the FBI also arrested three juveniles allegedly involved in a series of armed robberies and carjackings, many near the Astoria Park apartments. We realized some success with that operation, so we're, we're hoping to you know, transfer that over to, you know, carjacking specifically. The department says the goal is to make substantial arrests and hopefully deter people from doing this dangerous crime. We're trying to stop this to keep everyone safe as we can. IMPD reminds people who may find themselves in these types of situations that no life is worth it. They recommend complying and getting out of that situation as soon as possible. For now, reporting on the city's west side, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News.